If you would look at a service provider network a few years ago, you would see something like the picture that we are looking at now. They were offering ATM, frame relay, voice, and internet. Some of them didn't offer internet at all. So they were offering voice and data services, and all these services were offered on a common platform on SDH core. The important thing here is that each of these services was more or less independent. So voice was independent from frame relay, was independent from ATM. And the common infrastructure was the very simple, very stable SDH core. All this has changed when IP was introduced. And IP was growing so fast that it outgrew everything else. And it simply didn't make sense to have all these parallel services because no one was using them anymore. So today, more or less everything runs on top of IP. Uh, we have a common IoT and MPLS backbone, which is the new service provider core. And all the traditional services are offered over this IP core, with voice over IP, with VPNs over IP, and they could be layer 2 or layer 3 VPNs, and we'll discuss that later on. And some service providers are even offering frame relay or ATM services on top of IT. Why? Because it's easier and cheaper to offer these services on top of IT than having a separate infrastructure that you have to maintain and operate. So the traditional traffic was slowly growing. Voice traffic was growing very slowly data traffic was growing a bit faster, but compared to IP, that was nothing. IP was really exploding. And today, if you look at the traffic mix in any service provider network, IP represents majority of the traffic. So it didn't make sense to have all these separate infrastructures supporting all these separate services. It makes more business sense to run everything over IP.